Earlier on the show, we took you to a convention, the Hardware Convention in Chicago. It's the Ace Hardware Convention, by the way. Come on in, please. The CEO of Ace Hardware, John Van Heisen. John, welcome to the program. Great to see you, sir. Great to be with you, Stuart. Thanks for giving us some time. I got a theory. You guys in the hardware business... Let's have it. <laughs> I think you're going to agree with this. You guys in the hardware business, you do well, even in the retail ice age, because people have to go to a hardware store to buy what they need as opposed to going online to buy what it is. You've got an online proof business. Am I right? Once again, proving you know a lot of things. <laughs> I think you're exactly right. It's, uh, listen, don't misunderstand. We, we all know that Amazon is the most disruptive company in human history. But uh, there is a desire of ours to be owning the home preservation business and a lot of that has to feel in touch and we're sort of blessed to be in a business that tends to be a little bit more insulated than perhaps some other retailers yeah. from the convenience of commoditized one-click ordering. Now President Trump today is talking about, by, by the way, look, Ace Hardware, you are a private company. Now President Trump is we talking are. about public companies he wants them to go to a report, a financial report, every six months instead of the current every three months. Would you be enticed into going public if it was a once every six month reporting period? Hmm. I imagine a lot of companies will find great appeal in that. Uh, takes a little pressure off the accounting team for sure. Uh, no, we are a private company owned solely and exclusively by our local store owners. So Ace retailers not only own their local store, they're the only shareholders of Ace Hardware Corporation, and despite some appeal to that, uh, we're quite pleased with our governance structure. It keeps us very focused in on exactly whom we serve. We exist to serve those local owners. They, in turn, get empowered to go ser serve their local neighbors. And that's what we call them. They're not customers. They're neighbors. How, how many stores have you got nationwide? There's 5,135 stores around the world, and about 4,500 of those are in the U.S. And how, can you give me a growth rate, a growth in sales rate? Can you do that for me? Yeah, our, our retailers are amazing. They never cease to amaze me with all the media fawning all over the retail apocalypse. Our retailers have increased the sales out of their stores in the last six years from 11.5 to $16 billion, which would make Ace about the sixth largest franchise in the world. And they, which is a testament to the value of local ownership, have had eight years in a row of same-store sales growth, which is pretty amazing when you consider what's happened to retailers around the world. What's the star product? I know you've got this huge convention there in Chicago. I mean, can you point to one star product that Ace is putting out there today? Well, I'll give you three categories, paint, power, and barbecue. Uh, our growth rate in outdoor and barbecue is in excess of 26% over the last four years, and it's driven a lot by great suppliers like Big Green Egg, Traeger and Weber who give us high quality exclusive stuff you can't go get at some discount website. Well said, sir. John, thanks very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. And congratulations on that. Uh, you've got that convention there. It looks like it's really going well. Thank you, John. Sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Great to be with you. Sure thing.